Avoiding allergic reactions, the breakthrough treatment helping kids cope with peanut allergies, giving them freedom to eat what once were dangerous foods. NBC 10 News starts now. Right now at 430, we're talking about a life-threatening allergy that affects many families. There is a breakthrough here to a new treatment in our area helping treat children with peanut allergies. NBC 10's Drake Clark explains the irony and how it works. Eight-year-old Miranda Warwick has lived with the fear and frustration of having a peanut allergy. But thanks to a new treatment, Miranda is now eating one of her favorite snacks every day, peanuts and chocolate chips. My own anxiety is much lower. I have allowed Miranda to, to do more things. Miranda's mother discovered she had a peanut allergy when she was 17 months old after giving her peanut butter cereal. Miranda broke out in hives and was rushed to the hospital. A dose of Benadryl solved the problem. So that was a scary, very scary experience as a new mom. Six months later, another allergic reaction. This time, Miranda fell victim to cross-contamination. She was eating goldfish crackers, plain cheddar, Pepperidge Farms, goldfish crackers, um, off of a plate that someone had previously eaten a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and she again developed hives all over her face. Miranda became prisoner to her own body. The family avoided things like ice cream and bakeries. At home, they created a peanut-free environment, reading the ingredients on everything and she could only eat meals prepared by her parents. The anxiety of a severe, potentially life-threatening allergic reaction was overwhelming. I didn't know what was going to happen in the future. So it was a little scary, but I wasn't completely scared. So what do you guys do then? Then last year, the Warwicks met Dr. Manav Sagal, who treats children with peanut allergies using oral immunotherapy. Giving small doses of um, the food that the person is allergic to, and in this case, peanut, and gradually, systematically, over a period of several months, we can get a child who might have been highly allergic to peanut to tolerating 8 to 10 peanuts a day. Miranda started her therapy in June of 2016. Dr. Sagal personally monitored her treatment inside his Winmore office. The treatment starts with giving peanut in the liquid form, then a powdered capsule, and eventually an actual peanut. It's a gradual process that takes months to develop. It's not a cure. The therapy simply builds the patient's tolerance. The patient stays in the office for an hour after their dose. Um, so that if any issues arise as we increase their dose, you know, they're here under our supervision. The treatment worked for Miranda. And now that we know that she has a tolerance for peanuts, we're not worried about her accidentally eating more than a full serving of peanuts because we know a full serving is safe for her. Dr. Sago says the treatment has an 85% success rate and now he plans to soon treat milk, egg and tree nut allergies. Dre Clark, NBC 10 News. If you think this treatment may work for your child, first make sure you call your pediatrician.